Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today with Matt Betzold from Team USA. Uh, Matt, how does it feel to, to get the uh, first victory for Team USA here today? Oh, awesome. It was unreal. Um, set the team morale, uh, set the bar for what we're going to do with this whole tournament. So I feel confident and uh, we're dominating. I think we've only lost one match that I've, I've saw so far. So um, what, what uh, division were you uh, wrestling in today? I was wrestling in the 60 kilo, um, 132 pounds. Uh, so. And uh, what other martial arts do you uh, do you do as well? I do mixed martial arts. As of uh, 2006, I did my first fight. It was an underground fight. And uh, in August 2009, the Arizona Boxing Commission finally approved me to fight MMA. I wrestled with Eric Larkin, um, do a little judo, a little bit of everything, honestly. So. Well, Besides, I'm not, I'm not much of a Muay Thai guy because I start on my knees, so I'm never going to be a Muay Thai guy. I, I've come to reality with that. So well, I started grappling um, because I was um, looking for something to do athletic-wise. I never really was a very good football player, um, and wrestling and grappling is in my family. So um, I went to a cage fight in 2001. And I started training right after that cage fight. I took a year off in 2004 because I had my son. And um, I was basically going to basically stop training. And my wife, uh, who I love so much, uh, convinced me that if I really love it, that I should go back. And I went back in 2005, and I haven't stopped since. And I don't think I'll ever stop, whether it be coaching, I'll always be uh, involved in the sport somehow. Where do you train currently? I train currently with the Lions Den in Phoenix, or Scottsdale, Arizona, and then Gracie Baja in Phoenix, Arizona. I also recently started training with um, uh, American Pancreation down at ASU. So I'm going to be working with Anthony Robles. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he's a phenomenal wrestler. And um, he's missing the leg too, but he's missing the opposite leg, and that's the right leg. Um, so he's going to be working with me on my takedowns as much, or also with Eric, Eric Larkin. So I'll have uh, top-notch takedowns. So I hear you, you're also going to be competing in some MMA fights. Tell us about that. Yeah, I actually got my next fight is uh, February 5th in Texas. And um, I'll be fighting, representing the Texas top team. And uh, my other school is in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, my plans is uh, to move to Florida and train with the American top team with Laborio because um, I got a taste of what he can do for me. I trained with him this last week and a half. And um, honestly, um, I have no disrespect to my current schools. But jujitsu wise and MMA, MMA wise, I've learned more in that week and a half than I have, honestly, in this last uh, year, 2009. So, no disrespect, disrespect to my current schools, but that's where I'm headed. So, what kind of um, motivation or uh, positive words can you give uh, to young athletes that are coming up that want to compete in MMA or want to do the grappling tournaments? What can you tell them? Do what you love, whether it be grappling, whether it be any kind of sport or anything. Just do what you love. Don't let people tell you you can't do something because anything's possible. Uh, just listen to your heart and follow your dreams. That, that's big. I mean, that may sound corny, but that's honestly my beliefs, and that and I prove that on the mat. So. TNGF.com, the social network for fighters.